Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. You know, I do a whole bunch of crazy types of fishing, but it is nice just to come out here with a rod, small backpack, and just walk the beach and throw some woods. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. So how about y'all come join me and let's do some fishing. Let's throw this little Berkeley Powerbait swim shad out there. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, I have a stingray. That's not the flat fish I'm after, but it is a fish. Oh, come on. That's a nice size ray too. Look at that. Let's see if I not get stung by them. Oh man, I snagged them. Okay, well, I'm gonna get that out of you, man. I should take you home and eat you, but you don't have enough meat on you to do much with. That's a pretty little creature if you ask me. Look at that. See his barb right there? That's what you want to watch out for. So, and his eyes. They're so cool. Let me get you back, man. Okay, you get to go back. It's about hurting you. Go over. There he goes. <laughs> that was cool. So just landed a ray and have a really, really beautiful sunrise coming up. Look at that. Wow. But I'm just out here throwing this little Berkeley swim bait. This is a three inch pre-rigged swim shad, 15 pound fluorocarbon on 30 pound braid, little pin squall, bait casting reel, and a seven foot medium fast star rod. Very easy, simple setup. Walk the beach and throw some lures. So I'm just going to walk the beach and keep on throwing, see what we can find. I'm looking for some flounder this morning, so caught the wrong kind of flatfish already. What is this? They, things keep on biting my tail off. I think I'm about to find out officially what it is. And I did. Little Jack Cavalls. That's so cool. <laughs> he bit it even with the tail off. Where's your bigger friends, huh? Ain't it so cool how these things can get so big? They're very abundant out there, so we're gonna let you go. I came out here to catch flounder, but I don't mind catching fish either way, especially on a nice morning like this. So I'm just going to keep on throwing it with the tail cut off because I don't want to change it out again and see if we can get some more. All right. Let's try that again. There's a big school of them out there. I'm just going to work it fast. Oh, there they are. Found them again. There's another one with no tail on the lure and they still hit it. Oh man, there's a bunch of them down there. Come on. <laughs> this is fun. You know, they may not be giants, but this is extremely exciting. And it's something that anyone can do. If you have access to the beach, you can walk on a day like today with just light tackle and catch these fun fighting fish. He's talking. He's like, put me back. There he goes. And you see, I'm using bass tackle. I mean, this is my inshore setups. Like I said, it's a pin squall. So you come out here with your bass tackle. You just need to make sure you rinse it and oil it extremely well and avoid splashing and the sand as much as you can. And you'll be okay. You don't have to go out and buy a big setup if you want to come out and fish the beach a lot of times. But... 
I'm gonna keep on trying. Since it doesn't have a tail, I'm not swimming it back to me. I'm just twitching it like this. And I don't mind catching those, those are fun. Sometimes it's nice just to come out and relax and not get all worked up over. Oh, there's another fish. Oh, come on. See, like this. Oh man, there you are. This is exciting. And there's another one. I wonder how many jacks I can catch one day here. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, I think I need to put on a new swim bait. Come on. All righty. Number three. There you go. All right. I think the swim bait has done its work. It's time to put on another one. You literally can just walk out here with a bag of these and a backpack or even in your pocket. And they're scented. They already have the hooks and everything on them. So they've been around a while. But I'm going to grab another one. But this is the three inch Hoagie Swim Shad quarter ounce. So now I have a brand new swim bait on. Let's <laughs> see if we can get into some more jacks. I've kind of given up on the flounder this morning because I've covered some water and haven't got any. But at least these are providing some entertainment. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them out there. Here's another one hooked up. I hope it stays pinned. Yep. Yeah. That is, he's a, they're getting a little smaller. I want the big ones. But ain't that crazy how their appetite is? Look at that bait. It's almost as big as he is. And they have similar docks too. There you go. I'm going to keep on fishing for these things. And just because it's something, you can't complain when you're able to come out here and actually catch fish. Coming out here is one thing, it's absolutely beautiful, but catching fish is an added bonus, no matter what kind it is. Oh, there they are again, oh. oh got him. <laughs> oh man, there's so many of them out there, that is insane. I'm just gonna keep on catching these until my swim bait's torn up, so. I don't want to bore y'all with just one jack after another. But there you go. That's it. You could keep kids entertained forever like that. That's it of the swim bait. I put it on there and it keeps on falling off. So I am finished with that one. And I'll probably go try something else. So I left the beach, just came to a little roadside ditch here. And I'm using the same type of swim bait so perfect for this scenario i just have some 12 pound fluoro there a little 2000 battle 10 pound braid seven foot medium light rod and now there's a lot of cars coming by so you'll have to forgive the sound but let's see if we can catch something over here i'm just going to reel it kind of steady back to me jig it every now and then oh something's boiled on it There's a fish. Oh man, that's a little one. What are you? Oh, it came off. No, it's still there. That's a little trout. That's probably one of my smallest trout in a long time. That's still really fun though. Like, look at that. That's a healthy fish. So I'm gonna try not to touch it. That's to not harm that slime coating. He's hooked really well. Oh, if I don't fall in. And there he goes. All right. You know, this isn't a day of giant fish, but it's a day of fun, relaxing fishing. Oh, there's some bait flipping up over there. Let's see if there's any more. You never know what you're gonna catch in roadside ditches like this, you know? We have small tarpon, redfish, flounder, trout, bass, black drum. Oh, there's another one. There's another small trout. All right, light tackle fishing. Oh, he really liked that one. Look at that. That's so cool seeing those. What 
an awesome specimen of a fish. That is cool. There we go, buddy. They have teeth, but these small ones, you don't have to worry about getting blood drawn. So there he goes. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's something good. I don't know what this is. That's something really good. Oh, man. Okay. I thought it was going... Oh, man. That was a nice red fish. <sighs> oh, at least it got to go back. Dang it. That was a nice red. Man. I wonder how the hook came out. That's crazy. I mean, little baits are easy to throw. Darn, that was a good one. All right, well, let's try that again. Can't sit there and sulk about it. Oh, there's another one. Mm, come on. I'm going to get you this time. It ain't as big as the first one. Dang, this is a little croaker. No, a little redfish. Yeah, it ain't as big as the first one. Still a nice fish, though. I guess today's just a day of small fish. There you go. The first one was good slot. Could have been a nice one to take home and eat. But I guess it was his lucky day. y'all that was actually pretty fun today just a simple relaxing type of fishing that anyone can do and that's my favorite type of fishing right there so i appreciate y'all for watching if you have not subscribed as always if you enjoyed this go hit that subscribe button down below all the companies that support the channel as well as the products i like to use i link down in the description below as well and until next time i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later